For my senior thesis, I've decided to look back at my high school years and reflect on not only how I've changed, but how my taste in music has changed. As I've been thinking about my time in high school, it's become rather apparent to me how interlinked that my musical taste throughout the years and the changes that I've gone through to become the person I am today really are. I've never had any formal musical training, I can't play any instruments, and I sure as hell can't sing. But despite this, my love for music runs deep, and the impact that it has had on my life is profound. To start off, I'm going to flash it back to freshman year. For me, freshman year was a really strange time. Trying to adapt to high school life was really hard for me, especially when for the first time in my life, I didn't have every single class with the same group of friends I've known since elementary school. In fact, I remember not having lunch with any of my friends from middle school or elementary school. This forced me to branch out and try to make new friends. Me trying to branch out and meet new people with different interests really reflected my musical taste. For the first time in my life, I began to delve into all sorts of different music I had never really listened to in order to try and relate to all the new people I was meeting. I was into everything from 90s hip hop to reggae to emo rock. Looking back at this time, I'm glad that I was able to begin to open up my taste in music to new and different genres. However, as I previously mentioned, not being around my lifelong friends took its toll as I began to lose touch with them. All in all, freshman year was a mixed bag. I made new friends and began to get into music, but also unfortunately lost a lot of friends. When I look back at sophomore year, I look back in regret and disgust. This was a really tough time in my life that didn't have much positivity to offer. I didn't really care much about anything and grew distant from my family and all but a few friends. And those few friends I still had began to lead me down a dark path. I would frequently sneak out and go smoke and drink with them, often neglecting any other responsibilities that I had. This quickly snowballed into borderline substance abuse as I began to get into everything from mushrooms to codeine. This unpleasant time in my life really reflected in the music I was listening to. I was listening to meaningless crap that often promoted the kind of life I was living. Looking back, there are very few artists and songs from this time that I've taken with me. To add insult to injury, around spring break, I learned that my grandpa's wife was only given a few months to live due to complications from Parkinson's. Gaga Suzanne, as we called her, had been around for my whole life. Shortly after we found out, we visited her for the last time at her celebration of life ceremony. Here, I was shown how important that music can be, as Suzanne's children all expressed their gratitude for her through their own songs, as Suzanne had instilled a love for music in all of her children. Learning about the numerous musicals she had written and participated in, and hearing the heartfelt performances her kids gave, I would say she instilled a love for music in me too. Shortly thereafter, she passed away. This moved me to get my life together, which leads me to junior year. Junior year, I worked to get myself back on track, and this included taking on more responsibilities. I got my driver's license over the summer, and soon after, got my first job working at Wendy's. I credit a lot of this change to the music I was listening to, which included a lot of 90s metal and grunge from bands like Tool and Alice in Chains. Many of their songs address the ways in which people can waste away their lives, and unfortunately, many of the artists themselves from this era displayed this all too well. These artists provided a cautionary tale that moved me to better myself. Additionally, as I began to improve, I saw my relationship with my family return to what it once was. This year also saw my family expand, with my dad's girlfriend and her kids moving in. I'm glad I was in an improved mental state, as I was able to really accept the change without much resistance. All in all, junior year was a big turning point for me, with new responsibilities coming my way and big changes in my family life.
I'm grateful I had my music there to propel me to turn myself around, which leads me to senior year. This year has been great for me. I've settled into a job I enjoy at the Home Depot, and I've fallen in love with the outdoors as I'm fishing, camping, and four-wheeling whenever I can. I've also continued to love and explore music and regularly listen to it purely for enjoyment. I've been really into 60s and 70s rock from the likes of Led Zeppelin and Pink Floyd and some acts from the late 70s and 80s like Rush and ZZ Top. Like my taste in music, this year has been rocking and rolling right along for me. Over spring break, I took an awesome road trip with my dad to Arizona where we visited my grandpa and watched the Rocky season opener. I also went to my first school dance, prom, and had an absolute blast. Lastly, I've decided to attend the Colorado School of Mines next fall, and I can't wait to get started. Senior year has been great for me, and I've had my music right alongside me the whole time. My high school years have certainly had their ups and downs. However, I'm glad it's provided me with my love for music, and I'm excited to see where my life leads me next, and what's in store for my musical taste as I'm sure my musical library will continue to grow along with myself.